Good morning everyone. This is Adrian. I'm a member of St. James's Church. This is Bermondsey Daily Message. Beautiful words from the beautiful book. Well today I'm standing by St. James's Steps and in particular by this little ramp at the end. And I want to share with you three pictures. The first was taken probably a hundred years ago in 1920. And it shows the little children of Bermondsey sliding up and down this step because they had nowhere else to play. And this gentleman here is called Arthur Carr. And he was a very kind man and he used to see them playing here as he walked uh, through the churchyard on his way to work at Peak Freen's Biscuit Factory. And then we have this amazing structure, the Joy Slide, which Arthur Carr paid for, and it used to stand over there uh, in the churchyard. And it was there until the mid 80s, I remember it myself. And he was helped in this endeavor of building this uh, by the lovely and uh, wonderful Ada Salter. And then the third picture is this one. This is an image of what we hope will be a new slide in honour of Arthur and Ada's slide. Now I hasten to add that it won't be the same, it will be a lot smaller, uh, it won't even be a replica, but it will be a tribute to Arthur and Ada's wonderful generosity a hundred years ago. So what's uh, a children's slide got to do with the Bible? Well in Isaiah chapter 11, in that amazing uh, prophecy of the kingdom and a new king in the line of David, a king who will judge the world with justice and righteousness for the benefit of the poor and needy, we read that one of the aspects of this new kingdom, uh, which will be a kingdom of peace and harmony, uh, what we call shalom, one of the features will be that children will be able to play in safety and Arthur and Ada recognised the importance of that. And we know also that Jesus was very concerned about children. Let me read from Mark's Gospel, chapter 10. People were bringing little children to Jesus for him to place his hands on them, but the disciples rebuked them. When Jesus saw this, he was indignant. He said, let the little children come to me and do not hinder them for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. Truly I tell you, anyone who will not receive the kingdom of God like a child will never enter it. And he took the children in his arms, placed his hands on them and blessed them. So this kingdom which Isaiah prophesied about and Jesus inaugurated when he came to earth, we need to enter it with the attitude of children. It's not about how brainy you are, it's not about how many qualifications you've got or books you've read. It's about coming to God with a childlike attitude, an attitude of simple trust and pure joy, such as you see when children are playing with their parents or their siblings. One of my favourite Christian bands called Rend Collective have a song called Simplicity and in it they say this simple line, Lord give me a childlike heart. So I'd like you today to think about what it means to enter the kingdom of heaven in a childlike attitude and what a difference that could make to your life. Not childish, childlike. So let's end with a prayer. Lord Jesus, we thank you for the generosity of Arthur Carr and Ada Salter a hundred years ago. And we pray for your blessing on this project to build a slide in honor of that. And we pray also for the children of Bermondsey, that they will grow up in safety and finally, we pray that you will help us to enter your kingdom with a childlike attitude, an attitude of simple trust 
and pure joy. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, you've been listening to Bermondsey Daily Message. Join us again tomorrow for another one from another location in Bermondsey.